Hey, good morning, y'all. This is Amazonian Treasures. Um, I don't know even where to start at. I got so much information and downloads. Um, and the ones that have ears will hear, and the ones that have eyes will see. I'm going to say that um, first and uh, foremost, because um, there's a lot of us that lacks, how can I say, the mind power to grip what half of the stuff that I'm saying. Um, the government is getting real. They're putting it right in our face, the things that we need to see. And we st still choose to stay blind. Um, I don't know how much I got to keep talking about this, preaching this, but I'm going to continue to keep on doing it until y'all get what I'm saying. Um, this video is going to be a series of a collaboration of multiple videos that i um done. And if you need any references, just go to my YouTube on Amazonian Treasures and look it up because uh, the videos that I'm going to be referencing in this you should already have watched this before you can get this information because this information will not make sense to you. Make sure you go and check out, um, let me see if I can remember the names of it. Uh, what is it? I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't forgot. I, it'll come to me as I reference it. Oh, yeah, I got the book right here in front of me. Um, and it's pictures. Um, it's a video that I did. Was called. It was the Angel Number Six Eleven Cycles of Disobedience Past Life Progression. It was talking about the Tower of Babylon. It was called Eleven Judgment, Chaos, and a Lack of Order. And that's what I was telling y'all that I predicted the war. Um, war with the Israel uh, war that happened like maybe a couple of months before it did. God got me another thing that needs to be said before December the first, um, nineteen. Well. The anniversary of it will be this year, December the 1st. But um, this is talking about the Antarctica Treaty that was signed December the 1st, 1959, and it's other information that ties in together. So, y'all, I might have to break this video video down in multiple segments in order for y'all to understand it. So, where do I start? I'm going to start with, um, let's see. Okay, one day I was sitting outside. Now, mind you, I already had wrote this message. It's called, It Smarts the Spot. It's called The Last Oppressor, The Last Tyrant. That's what I'm probably going to put it on, but it's other information. It smarts the spot, The Last Oppressor, The Last Tyrant. Um, pretty much uh, where I'm going to start at uh, is talking about, um, oh, dang, I, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, y'all. I just be lo just seeing stuff and, and trying to configure how I'm going to put it together. Okay, I was sitting outside one day. I mind y'all wrote it's March the Spot, the last oppressor. I was sitting outside one day, and you know, um, I was just looking at the sky. I just happened to look at the sky, and it was a big X in the sky. Um, that was from the Kim Trails or whatever that they do in the sky. But that reminded me. It was like God actually sending me a sign to remind me of the. Uh, it's time to get to work. Uh, um, I got the rest of the downloads for the pieces that you need with the stuff that I need you to put it together. That's why it takes a longer time for me to gather the information and to tell y'all because I try to get the most facts as possible, the most true, and um, just to trigger your mind to ask questions, just to expand your mind to think outside the normal ways of thinking. Um, but, <coughs> sorry, I got choked up. But I seen an X in the sky, and that reminded me of a, a information that I was um, doing already, which is in my book. I write a lot of information in this book. Um, you probably can barely see it. I write a lot of stuff. Um, this book is almost filled. I'm probably going to need another one. I probably got nine books probably worth the information that that will be left to my kids. Um, I don't want them to be gatekeepers. I want them to be able to express it. But if that's not their field of things, but I do want them to keep on preaching the gossip. I said gossip. Gossip. I can't say it. Gospel for everybody to hear and the stuff to see. The things that I do, like I said, I'm more on the line of a psychodynamic counselor. It's going to deal with mind, body, and soul stuff. Things like that. What's going on in the universe. What energies. Pretty much a mixture of fun way. Reaching energies outside of the boundaries that where we're at right now. It's a way to use fun way instead of just household um, ways to improve your energy in your household. It's, it's actually a fun way chart that you that I work with with my Instagram. Um, if you refer to back to my videos and stuff like that, you will see how I coincided it together to pick up energy um, around the globe. Um, but anyway, but it's March the Spot. It was talking about um, 
a location. Uh, and the X is always in a representation of a treasure. Um, hence my name, Amazonian Treasure. I'm going to find out where's the hidden information, the knowledge, the treasures, locations. God is going to always send me that. Um, most of these places that is, was getting karma, they're having bad storms, a lot of destruction. I already told y'all in multiple videos from my Facebook that's called Katrina Butler to over here to Amazonian Treasure on my YouTube. Uh, I done express so much information. If you follow from my timeline from the beginning, most of those things I predicted from two years, maybe a year ago, they're not transpiring now. And a lot of people thought I was crazy. Like, oh my God, this girl, he should go on Facebook or YouTube talking again about aliens, this and that, and all kinds of weird shit. But it will totally make sense if you have an eye to see outside. Um, it, what it was, uh, somebody on my Facebook list, they, and it made so much sense. I mean, it's, it's typically it. You have two eyes to see, but you have a third eye to really see, like to look, to see beyond the veil, the information. These two eyes right here, we got to see the physical, the 3D. That was all that it was meant to do. But this third eye is going to have us discernment to interpret, to see. And God does send us almonds and stuff like that. That's why, um, how can I say God would be more lenient on us, but we have discernment inside of us. We have intuition and stuff inside of us. He sends us sign symbols and numbers, anything, om omens, like anything for us to see what he's talking about to get the information. But enough to talk about that. I spent six minutes, about seven minutes talking about this. But anyway, let me get into this. But when I first originally wrote it, they was talking about an element. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Exion is S-E-N-O-N. This and the um, also that's talking about. Um, I even looked at the reference of the Greek the meaning of it, it means stranger. But the Exion is a uh, 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 element that we have on our periodic um, table. If you look it up you and do your research, and I encourage y'all anything that I'm telling y'all, don't just take my word, do your research so that you can know for yourself. You might find something that I don't know. Let's exchange information so we can expand the whole consciousness of the world. Anyway, the angel number that came with it was 133, um, and it's meaning spiritual presence in your life. Um, and that just let me know that my angels and ancestors were around me, letting me know that this information that I'm telling y'all is accurate, and they sent me these downloads. But anyway, Exion, um is a, a gas, a rare odorless, colorless, tasteless, chemically unreactive gas. It emanates blue light when excited by electrical discharge. And something else that came into it, like I said, I don't know, at the beginning I didn't know how this played into each other, but it would definitely make sense later on. And, and um, I might get more information down the line because they've been sending me downloads heavy. Um, and like I said, it takes a longer time. I'm not one of those people that just draw information just to be hearing myself talking. I only move when God directs me to. But another thing too with that Greek, um, it was talking about in that angel number, it was talking about Greek. And that's why I came up with that, um, that the origin of this message is from Greek. It's probably from other parts of the world as well. As well. Um, I want to say, um, what is that? Um, Middle Eastern area. Europe area, like stuff, places like that, like different areas, like that has history that has not been talked about. But anyway, the um, that's why I got the Greek um word from meaning stranger. And it was talking about the last tyrant of the ancient um Greek city of Harminos, um, back in two twenty nine BC. But anyway. The last tyrant, tyrant meaning a uh, um, uh, oppressive government. Let me make sure that I um looking at everything that I had. Okay, the tyrant mean meaning the last oppressive government. The last tyrant, and it was um multiple people that how can I say when the world was coming to a judgment, God had certain people in place that played a part in that. Um. A lot of um, people that's in the Bible and other religious cultures are the same people with different names are simultaneously happen in a different realm at the same time. Different timelines. Time does not exist. Anything can happen. Like as far as things like happening now is reoccurring over and over. The stuff that I'm talking about is past stuff, but it's happening right now. 
time is a loop. It doesn't exist. It's on repeat. It's, that's why they call it the infinite eight, the infinite circle. It's going to always be there. The wheel of fortune. It keeps turning and turning. And I know y'all remember that. What was that? Uh, Warner's brother. Uh, it was a little thing. Um, I, I forgot what it was. It was three. They look like little mouses or dolls. I don't know what it is. It said... It, they just put the wheel of fortune. It said, "Wheel of fortune, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn." The wheel of fortune represents lessons, and Warner Brothers really put that out there. And like that, just a little side note for y'all to look at. I forgot what they was called though. But anyway, but the last turn it got something to do with Samsung and Hercules. I feel those were two of the same people, but they were simultaneously in different realms and different time zones. Both of them had impeccable strength. Both of them had a weakness for women. They were both deceived by women. And I do want to tell y'all a little something that how the government play on us. Y'all know a phone is called the Samsung phone, right? What did that name derive from? Samsung. And then even back when I did that reading that was with the Eve thing, when Eve um, was, I was doing channeling with Eve. Um, the iPhone, the Apple phone, like, come on, these are biblical things that's pulled from the Bible. It's almost like a mockery in our face. They putting shit in our face and we still not looking. But anyway, Hercules and Samsung was the last tyrant. They was the last, they were the judges that put an end to oppressive government before a monarchy, monarchy started. Hercules, um, and Samsung destroy a government literally free people but that's neither here or there but that's on a side note on that i'm a, like i said i'm gonna be bouncing all over the place or whatever but anyway let me go to right here oh and yeah let me go to right here like i said y'all i'm gonna be all over the place because these downloads um some of them was earlier on and some of them i wrote later so i'm gonna have to um kind of Bounce between both. It, like I said, these segments are going to be long. But two, the X in the sky, like I was telling y'all earlier on, X in the sky, it was giving me a message. X marks the spot. It was talking about a location. It was talking about the space, the air, and stuff like that. Um, two, and um, this goes back to, like I said, the Antarctica Treaty um, that they signed. Um, the element Exion is they don't like to tell you that and, and when i was trying to do research i even tried to research it and they was just taking me all the way around Exion, i feel y'all do y'all research i feel it's an abundant amount of Exion in antarctica and you will be amazed what the Exion element can do for us you can make a a source of light is used in a lot of headlights high beam headlights and cars is uh you can make artificial suns with that like power sources with that element and it also does something else to the physical to the actual people but they they keep that um things hitting over there in antarctica because it's abundant of resources it has resources over there that we do not have over here well we do have it but they done transported it over there or it, um they done used up almost all the resources here which the resources are never gonna fall out they always try to put us in a scare tech and thinking that we're running out of resources there's abundance of resources they're just withholding it from us but anyway let me go down here oh yeah uh and this is how i know that it's on it's on is down there in our antarctica and i even did a little research or whatever it's shows auras and it shows it's young it's young eminence how can i say shows blue light a aura which is in antarctica we know about the what is it what do they call that event the aurora or something like that and that goes back to that um this little character that i drew her name's a euphoria on uh, your aura or something like that but anyway that's neither here or there and like i said it's gonna be bouncing all over the place but antarctica um and i feel like this where the x marks the spot I don't know why how that triggered my mind as far as that. I guess the space thing because they got a lot of activities going on over there. Um, the space um stuff, the things that they're doing behind the scenes. I know they're doing stuff when it comes to space, but we're talking about outer space. 
not literally outer space because there's literally a firmament over us and that's the atmosphere like i said that nobody has left this this planet like nobody has left this planet and if they're telling you they did they're lying but anyway uh let me just break this down and this is gonna blow your mind these are the downloads that i did in the research okay antarctica shows auras and like they said this atmosphere and that's what i think they said x marks the spot uh antarctica shows to be true south and i want y'all to understand it it's actually shows to be true south but it's actually the the real north ancient bacteria creatures and a lot of water settled there showing evidence of the flood antarctica used to be a paradise so that shows that i feel like that's where the flood water settled that's where um that comes with the idea of creating that um ice wall that we have around us as well that's where it settled and like i said if that's not the first sign of life why is the oldest bacteria the oldest creature and even when i was doing a reading they was talking about the frost giants those are where they reside in. they was y'all talking about petrified yeah there was a lot of the giants and stuff was petrified but a lot of them was preserved through the ice so that's why they're worried as well about the ice melting because it's gonna all the truths and stuff that they hid in, and the worlds are gonna be intertwined like i did a video a long time ago it said in between two worlds we're literally in between two worlds it's outer space outer space is outer space it's not outside of that it's outer space it's outer areas outside of the ice wall that resides in there and then and you got to think about the four corners of the earth there are four different portals and that's what i said that openings that you can get through to through the ice wall and that those are the four corners of the earth the north the south the east and the west and what does that uh, represent on the compass literally a x turn it this way a x four corners of the earth nor and if you put it like this north south east and west four corners of the earth there are four ways to get to the outer wall all the outer cities the outer space outside of those walls and that's why they're afraid that the water is melting because then we're going to see the truth that they've been hiding the long for the longest and it even goes back to the um what was it michelangelo was it michelangelo or leonardo da vinci where they had the virtuing man he was talking about our body how our body is is shaped and that that's need to hear a little that has to be another shit but anyway that shows the first sign of life and stuff like that and Antarctica, they're doing a lot of experiments and things like that down there and trying to understand the earth or how can i say understand the lands up there and it's uh it's just a representation of the x like the x young that's the it's a lot of that inside of Antarctica. but anyway let's go back let's go down here Oh, and Exion is also mean, uh, used to make nuclear weapons. They said there are signs and traces of Exion on Mars. And Mars is, I feel to me, y'all can, you know, follow what you follow or whatever. But Mars, I feel like that is an actual place out in the outer wall, ice wall. Mars, they talk about planets being floating in the air and stuff like that. But no, I think those are places that are called that. Those different planets that they're talking about, those are on the outer of the ice wall. But anyway, but they said they show evidence of Exion being on Mars that showed that there was nuclear war there. Though Exion is used to make nuclear weapons as well. So that lets me know that y'all over there making nuclear weapons as well. They God is telling on y'all all kinds of ways. And I'ma keep on promoting this. They might glitch this video or whatever, but I don't care. And I will keep on doing it. I will break it in down in so many ways that you will not even be able to pick it on. Like I said, the ones that have ears will hear. The ones that have eyes will see. No matter. But like they said, um, uh, like I said, it make nuclear weapons with Exxon. Uh, once it's um, integrated with, uh, uh, I guess it has a, made a change. Uh, I can't pronounce this word. It's Tetriide. Tetriide is highly explosive. But Exion can be used as a solar simulation, ultraviolet light. And this could also be beneficial to us if we understand how to work with the elements and get into that. We can actually learn how to create power for ourselves without relying on the government. Electricity is literally inside of our body. Um, but as far as extracting it, 
physically, I don't know how that would be possible. But it's none is the only element that I see that you could probably extract it and try and change its forms in multiple different ways. But anyway, that can be help us grow crops and stuff like that when they decide to, you know, do whatever they're going to do. But Antarctica is abundant with Exion. Exion is trapped in Antarctica's ice. Once the ice melts, the awareness of aware oh, I can't, I'm going too far. Exion is abundant and it's um Antarctica is abundant with Exion. It is in tra it's trapped in Antarctica's ice. Um, it's in the how can I say Exion is in the Earth's atmosphere, retained in the mantle or the lower crust. Okay, if it's in the uh, mantle or the lower crust, that has to be the first evolution, like where that that it was abundant like if the ice is freezing over and it's in the crust that means that was there when the first sign of life was here it's evident it's, it's in the lower crust that's why they're worried about this and it's something about this exion that they do not want y'all to know about this element they we have about one percent on this earth and this atmosphere that we have because it escapes it, it can escape out the atmosphere supposedly or that might be nitrogen might be i might got that one mixed up but anyway um but i'm gonna go i'm gonna jump around like i said let me go back to this the, the treaty the antarctica treaty like i said this is about to be our anniversary god is about to rain upon your head and i i'm sorry i don't have i don't know any other way to say it but y'all start y'all signed the treaty at Ar antarctica on december the first that's why they're making me do it before december the first comes so that y'all know in 1955 it was 12 um places 12 countries that signed the treaty and i'm going to read it to y'all the 12 con countries represented by the government are are, uh, are argentina australia bellum chile french republican Jap japan new zealand norway the union of south africa the union of the soviet socialist republics united kingdom great britain and the north ireland United States signed the treaty. And I went and looked at the treaty or whatever. Take a look at the treaty because they pretty much they cannot own Antarctica. Um and they're trying, but they're putting up different things to try to, you know, stop us from going over there saying it's research uh that's going on over there. That's the only way that they're stopping us from really going over there in Antarctica. And I'm going to just give y'all a hint. The ice wall is the thinnest during the summer equinox because it's melting. So I'm pretty sure every corner is melting at that time or whenever it reflects the summer on that side. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, but uh, but like I was saying, that um, that itself right there. Uh, and two, another person, I know y'all been hearing about this Elon Musk dude and um and uh you know just they just been talking about him um going over there to antarctica he paid a pretty penny maybe like 33 million to go over there to um antarctica and he's a part of that he is one of the founders of spacex hence the x in the sky that's why god had me looking at the sky spacex he is the founder of spacex you do y'all remember when um trump went on there and said we're ready to announce that we're going to expand. We're not just going to have the military um, stationary um, areas for that. We're going to have SpaceX. Elon Musk was the founder of SpaceX and Tom Mueller. These are some of, uh, is it Mueller? That is one of the elite family names. So y'all, y'all just pay attention. These people are doing things and it says SpaceX. And like I said, that what hits the word of this uh, this reading, X marks the spot, literally. And I uh, too, I did a, a storyline of um, also like I told y'all that um, what was it? Uh, like I said, I gotta bounce around the cycles of disobedience when I was talking about the Tower of Babel, which was interesting. And God gave me this download, but it seemed like somebody beat me to the punch or whatever. I'm I'm not the only one that's getting these downloads. I already know that. But somebody said SpaceX is the new Tower of Babel. Think about the Tower of Babel. I'm going to read this part to y'all. Um, right here. It said people rebelled against God and started building the Tower of Babel. 
God brought judgment by confusing the language that scattered all over the world and in different directions, building a tower to reach the heavens for God to descend and bless them with gifts, but they did it to make a name for themselves, not for the sole purpose of, of just for God to descend to bless them. God wanted them to fill the earth after the flood to repopulate. All these things tie in together, even the treaty with the uh, ice wall, the Antarctica, even um, right here. What I'm about to read right here. Samson was the last judgment of ancient Israel mentioned in the book, Judges, the book of Judges, chapter 13 and 16, the last leader to judge Israel. And this right here, the Tower of Babel and stuff like that, what well, this title is Cycles of Disobedience, Past Life Regression. This is where I put, this was the um, reading thing that I predicted the war that was going to happen in Israel or whatever. And Samson was the last judge for israel before the monarchy happened and it's also a movie that i want y'all to look at hercules in the tower of babylon and these people that built this tower were people of babylon the tower of babylon these people we're living in the days of the babylon we're literally repeating that over simultaneously just happening different things and uh also uh, uh something else i find that was crazy that was funny as well uh, SpaceX is a spaceship, and like I said, this is it's the same depletion of them building a tower to reach the heavens. But SpaceX, they're not trying to reach the heavens; they're trying to reach the outer walls, different dimensions and realms and stuff like that. Um, and something I found funny as well, uh, SpaceX, like they said, that's New Tower of Babel. Um, a song channeled by Mars, I mean, by Mario, I mean, Mario, it's called Mars, which I said, it's young, shows evidence on Mars that there was nuclear war. And that in, in there, it showed, in his video, it showed Apollo 11, one of the first, I mean, the spaceship that Neil Armstrong went on that said that he went outside the firmament to um, view the moon or whatever, to land on the moon, nobody can leave the firmament. Only way that you can leave the firmament is a different way. But not physically leaving and going outside of the wall. You can never leave this plane, period. Um, but anyway, the Apollo 11, and um, they landed in an area called the Sea of Tranquility. Hence the wordplay. Tranquility meaning uh, peace, Sea of Peace. And I'm going to go back to this dude. I mean, to this dude. Well, not go back to y'all about this dude named Eric Cordes. He discovered a lake and a river in the ocean. There was a thick layer of salt and water seeping up through them, creating rivers and lakes, many mainly under the seafloor of Gulf of, Me uh, of Mexico. And you know that there's a lot of alien sightings then, and that hints that show you that there's a portal. Like I said, the barrier is breaking. The abyss that God banished those sea creatures and different things to is now broken because of all the experiments and the different things that they're doing. The outer rim, I feel like you have to go through the water. And it just is proof right here, the sea of uh, uh, tranquility. The Eric Coles dude, when he found that lake inside of the ocean, that was a still ocean river. Uh, ocean, I'm going to say ocean river, my bad. A still lake that was inside of the ocean. But they said it's levels of thick salt, layers of thick salt. That has now broken. If y'all so see evidence of new creatures coming out the ocean that's being discovered that we never seen before, that lies deep inside of there. And they talking about a space station. I'm pretty sure they got one down there in the water. They said they don't know much about the ocean. Believe it or not, I believe they do. They just hiding it from us because there are portals in different places down there. There are paradises in there. Well, water done flooded it and buried it. To never be seen again. And two, that layer that God, that abyss that God catching on people in, that even going back to the mermaid and different stuff, people like that. Going back to the um, how can I say, to the beginning of times, um, I'm sorry, y'all. In the book of Egonot, when um the fallen angels uh, saw the son of man and took the um for themselves wives. Um, they said that those women that, that was like that, they were banished to the abyss, but they're known as our modern day mermaids. They're sirens. And like, hence the picture that I did of Orzad, 
she was a siren. You could tell that she was a mermaid. Now, let me see if I can um, go to the picture. She was a siren, and her name was Orzak. And that even tied into where that story that I was talking about, the racial cries about them flooding a city. They were literally just telling their storyline, and um, the Nephilims and stuff like that, they had banished them to the abyss, even those angels. Um, because of those crimes that they create, uh, uh, you know, did on Earth, they would create an abomination. And I feel like that was the start of the time where our DNA got attained. That's why some of us have certain abilities because of our bloodline. But it's up to us to tap into it. But like I said, I'm going to be bouncing around because there's a lot of stuff and truths that I got to speak out about this. But anyway, when I was talking about the um, Eric Coles, he was the one. And that's the dude that just, I think he just disappeared. Ain't that when he, I, if that's the correct scientist name that I looked up. He disappeared. Once he did, found that discovery of that, he disappeared. Just like many other people, like even in Orzak, with that dude, what was it? Um, dang, what was it? The Bitcoin dude. I don't know which one was it, the Bitcoin or the Cash App dude. One of them was uh, found in Orzak. Hence the words, they be telling me all kinds of shit. Like, they doing all kinds of stuff to control the money. This this person was getting too big. To And like I said, they trying to, they, they got some stuff uh, cooking in the background. Like, I don't have all the answers, but I do have stuff that God has been making me channel. But anyway, let me bounce around to this. Let me go to this. A long time ago, I drew this picture right here. I don't know if y'all can even really truly see it. Let me see if I can come on this one. Uh, it's a high priestess sitting on a chair on a floating cloud or whatever. Uh, initially, God was uh, speaking to me, and I heard the word. I think I might have did a video on this. I might have did, and I might have deleted. Like I said, I got many pictures at um, this channel, and I, the information comes to me later whenever God see fit to tie it in. I was hearing in my ear, high thorn, high thorn. I thought I was hearing high thorn, but I was hearing high thorn. And the Hawthorne is also a representation of that crown that was on Jesus' head that was made out of thorns as well. But I had high thorn right here, but you can't really see it up here. And little light letters, it says Hawthorne. But God was channeling me about something in Pacific. This is what's going to blow your mind. Space X. Like I told you, I was even talking about California and San Francisco a while ago. From that gold, those racial crimes, uh, even with the Indian, was it the Indian tribe? Like a tribe that they accused of slandering, some, I mean, killing a group of people, but it wasn't them. They were the ones. And San Francisco printed it out as false news and the media to uh, as a big cover-up. They've been covering up stuff since the, the days that you can probably remember. But anyway, God was telling me about that. But like I said, I heard that. Guess where a space X is located? Hawthorne, California. That's the headquarters. And guess what? Space has uh, space X has been founded ever since 2002. That's how long they've been hiding it from you. Remember, Trump just came out and said, "Yeah, we're gonna do a new launch of space X. We're gonna, you know, so we can discover space a little bit more." You mean the ocean? But anyway, and guess what? They said that it is a part of Mars Society. I can't make this stuff up. It ties in together too good. It, it, it can't be made up. How is it that I'm channeling all these different things and they're tying in together? Mars Society, like I said, Etzion was found on Mars. That was talking about nuclear war. Y'all are building nuclear weapons just straight up. And that, don't think that that thing that was happening in Maui was a coincidence. How everybody has to get hit but, um, but Opus. Some people said that the trees wasn't even touched. I was even talking to my sister about that um, as well. Um, and it's crazy. They said the trees weren't touched. Only thing that they uh, felt was just burning to the point that people jumped into the ocean. The water just to cool their skin down. A lot of people were missing. They haven't been found. Nobody's talking about this no more. But some people said they thought they seen a beam, a laser beam. Etzion can call, how can I say Using the Exion can cause ultraviolet lights, which could make, well, I was just talking about my son. He was talking about the supernova and stuff like that. 
um that that produced gamma rays ultraviolet to me i feel like that is just a a watered down gamma ray and they you literally use that in maui so they can rebuild what they want to they already started the new world order i hope y'all know when they changed the language when they was talking about the him her and this they already started changing it the lingo and everything that's the first signs of them creating a new world order currency and language the same thing happens over and over they wipe out a mass of us so the information cannot continue on and be restored to be recycled but what they don't what they didn't what they wasn't prepared for they didn't think that god was going to send reincarnations of people and what and wake up their mind of information that has been going on it's i have huh it's an overwhelming guilt but i know it's beneficial to people but i have past life dreams more often lately about me being at these events and that just show evidence and somewhere in my subconscious there's memory suppressed of a past life like they said when we come down to this earth our memory is wiped clean hence what i was telling you on that last video as far as the um what was it let me go back to it the neutral part of us the neutrons in us is the mental it represents the mental it's we're born with a clean slate it's up to us to enlighten ourselves to open those chakras up those kudalini's um the i said kudalini's those chakras like they was talking about the um 33 levels of life like i'll be telling people 33 is literally a initiation initiation number that is the master number of you mastering your life um, why do you think thir um, thir age 13 is the highlight of your life? That is when you uh, experience all the things that you need to experience to start your journey. Um, think about a master eleven, uh, master number 11. I feel like that's when it starts. You start learning. And then the 13, that's when you go through a different rebirth. It's like that's when your eyes truly open. Uh, master number 11, master number 22, master number 33. I talk about these things. And I know I'm getting off topic, but all these things, I promise you, it makes sense. 11 is when you're working on your physical aspect, identifying who you are. Hits the number of one in the um the first house. That talks about representation as far as your identity, your personality. Um, but um master number eleven, that's when you working on your mental aspect. Master number twenty two, that's when whatever you learned about yourself, your personality, that's when you start building on and creating with that knowledge that you have instilled in your mind. Master number 33 is when you create the reality. When you actually use everything you learned from when you were born to all the way to that age to create the reality that you need to create. That's why they call it the 33 tiers. 33 um, levels of our spine as well. And that represents the chakras, the kudalini. I mean, not kudalini. I keep saying that. I don't know why that's important right now. It keeps channeling kudalini. But anyway, oh, that unlocks our our rise our power our, our true power but anyway but that's besides the point 33 levels uh, uh on our spine and that represents the different chakras it is it's almost y'all got i mean i just don't even know how to get all the information out to you i'm just channeling as i'm going and the jacob's ladder what i was telling y'all those are the things that that's the essential process the different levels of ascension once you open up certain chakras you go and you get knowledge certain memories come back certain things that was oppressed about you desires and things and things you like to do and things of your past life are going to come back you're going to start remembering that's why they said it's important the chakra healing is important the spiritual mental and physical aspect of yourself is very important all summer tales work together the father the son the holy spirit the big three is multiple big threes, big tri uh, triangles. Um, the big three is the triangle mastery of three, six, nine, three representing the first stage. The fucking, I'm oh, sorry, I'm cussing, I'm getting so intense. <laughs> three representing the physical, six representing the mental, nine representing the spiritual. The big three, that's what your focus is supposed to be on, the big three. Three represents the physical plane. Six represents the in-between, which I call the purgatory, the seat of the soul. Nine represents the spiritual ascension, higher knowledge. But anyway, I'm just telling y'all, dropping this information on y'all. But anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, now, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I'm about to smoke a cigarette in the midst of this because it, it, it's just too much information I got to give. Boy, I got to settle my brain down. And that's one reason why I got to be away from people because I have, I channel so much. It's like my mind is constantly always moving. And I don't really have a time where I can sit down and just collect my thoughts. It is a heavy gift, but it is I know it's going to save many lives. But let me tell you about the physical properties of Etzion. The healing properties of the physical. And that's why they don't want y'all to know nothing about it. Oh, right here where I said, let me start right here. That's why I said Etzion is an anesthesia that causes hallucination, awakening of the mind. I want y'all to keep that in mind as well. I put right here, X marks the spots continue. X marks the spot uh, represents treasures. Okay. Um, Etzion used in a nuclear magnetic re um, renaissance um, resonance. Etzion lights are used in tanning beds. Ultraviolet lights, y'all. Uh, it glows with a blue light. Also, eminence shows um, some low frequency ultraviolet. Lights also used in NASA spacecrafts, deep space. Come on, be for real. What is deep besides the ocean? Like I, I'm, the, I'm just at this point. I'm just sick of it. Like if you don't believe it, go and do your research yourself. We don't, and that's why people be saying show evidence, show evidence. These downloads that we have is evidence because once you start seeing it come to pass, like I told y'all, I'm gonna be like Noah. I've been telling y'all this information for a long time. Don't try to come on my ship. When it's time to go, because my door is going to be closed. It's going to be closed because this information that I've been telling y'all, y'all should have dang took heed to it. Like I said, you should have been watering your garden the whole time. And that means physically, spiritually, and mentally. Seeing what you ingested in, putting in into yourself, that's it's going to make the biggest difference and how you're going to go through this journey i told y'all when i leave here i'm not coming back i'm not restarting this life all over i'm not being reincarnated i'll be one of y'all guys i guide you but i'm not coming back here i'm not going to start this life over and have to awaken and then find out all this information all over again that's a waste of time why not get it right the first time but anyway but that's deep space um they extract they extract it's young by liquid air um but Etzion is in Earth's crust at a concentrated point of two points. Etzion meaning Greek meaning stranger. I just transferred some of the information over there. It's a rare colorless, tasteless, chemical, unreactive gas. Emits blue light when excited by electrical discharge. But let me go down to here. I'm sorry. I, I just had to read that over because I didn't know this way. But the healing properties of Etzion. A non-tropic improves mental activity. It helps with anti-anxiety, anti-hyperates, antidepressant, antioxidant effects, helps with chronic fatigue syndrome, stress depression, light cognitive disorders, used in comprehensive therapy. We're in the age of Aquarian. This lifetime, we're fixing our mental aspect of what, uh, what we're supposed to be doing. This lifetime, it represents air quality. What does the what is Aquarius? Air. They're air element. It represents air quality. It represents the mind, the thinking process. This is the things that we're down here to fix. Our mind. It's other aspects that we have to fix, but the main focus, our mind is the controller of everything. It literally is. What you put in and ingest, your mind is going to respond to that. Just like the nerve system. Uh, how we feel pain. Like we could bump our hand right now or have a scratch or cut on us and we won't know until we look at it because our brain is triggered. It has a memory that's connected to it. Like, oh, I'm hurt. So that, let me send signals of pain. That's how uh, the body works. When you retrain your mind, you can do impossible things. Y'all just don't understand how powerful y'all are. And I know it's resonating because I've been seeing so many different numbers while I've been talking. I've seen 4141. I've seen 4422. Boy, I must be on one. 4433. But they have healing properties on it. But let me go back, bounce back over here because I'm going to tell y'all in depth 
or what they don't want y'all to really know about the ex young element and what it does for real. And why we only got 1%, that's to keep the masses dead, eternally sleep. And like I said, that's why they glitch. I'm sorry, y'all. That's why they glitch my videos and stuff like that. Because they don't do not want y'all to notice. I'm not saying I'm all powerful and stuff like that, but the stuff that I say makes sense. Okay. The deeper aware, um, the deeper meaning of Exion and what it does. The deeper awareness of the collective consciousness. This is what the Exion does. For us, what it does for us. If we have more of that in our atmosphere, uh, it brings deeper awareness of the collective consciousness of human and is, in fact, the very self that consciousness is made of. Connected to the crown chakra, a higher self connection to many aspects of one's life and a deeper soul awareness. Like I said, the seat of the soul, it would take you to that level of six. Six represents the Virgo Gemini aspect. Which Gemini is an air element as well. Virgo is doing your research, self reflecting, going in hermit mode to learn yourself. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Y'all worried about bullshit doors. Kiki, baby daddy, old boy across the street that's selling drugs. Boy, that don't even matter. That ain't what we down here for. But anyway, it keep it. What I was it? Higher self connection to many aspects of one's life and a deeper soul awareness. And that's when you get into the uh, area of that uh, seat of the soul. And now I think this, I, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the eighth or the, it might be the ninth, the eighth or the ninth chakra. It's one of those eighth or the ninth chakra. But right here, where is it at? I'm sorry, I keep um, stopping. It develops a deeper entombment to spiritual principles, greater facilities to work with the spiritual gifts. Most of this gas were, was removed from Earth's atmosphere on purpose. To shorten life, sensations of most of Exion natural regenerative capabilities in human. Main purpose is to con counteract the, the um I can't say it. The dimensional effects that the sun has on the ether bodies of all beings within the solar system, and simulate regeneration. This gas is used to manifest and understand a higher dimensional realm. That's why they're protecting that over there on the ice wall. That's why we only have 1% over here. If we had more Exion in the atmosphere, that will cause a huge awakening. We only have 1% on the, in this earth right now. And it said, found the earth's core where the noble gas is bound with other atoms. That's why they said, that's why I said the tyrant, like I said, it was going to all tie in together. The tyrant, the last oppressive government. These are hinge men, militant groups. These are the people that are been oppressing us. That's why they're going and hiding and stuff like that. These motherfuckers are making moves and running because this will be the last oppressive government. We will not be ruled by a dictatorship because this is pretty much what it is. They just make it look pretty and fancy. This will be the last tyrant, the last oppressive government. That's why they're running and shuffling and jiving, doing stuff fast. That's why they've been hiding stuff. SpaceX has been around ever since 2002. And, and what's the name was just now announcing it. That lets you know how they, they got, uh, we're so far behind. They probably got, shoot, from what it seemed like, they got maybe like a 21-year gap on our ass. A head start. It's, it's ridiculous and it's pathetic. But anyway, but I, I mean, that's pretty much all the information that I have for y'all for that. So I'm, I guess I didn't have to break it down in another what's night. But um, like I was telling y'all, it's, it's more things to this world. Y'all worried about the stuff that don't matter. That is the trick of the mind. What do they do to us? Like, how can, I'm going to put this up, and I'm going to talk spit some real shit to y'all. How can you keep a whole nation bound? Of course, by a simple, I mean, eliminating. Let them kill their self off. Let them fight over shit that don't matter. Bounding them as far as like mental stuff that they, we put in our mind. Like I said, our mind is what needs to be fed. Our mind is what sends the signals and the triggers to every aspect of our body, to our whole existence and being. And like I said, how can a government keep 
a whole nation bound, like televisions, anything that's going to trigger our mental aspect, gametry, y'all need to look into that. That is numbers. They use that a lot, the celebrities and shit to oppress us. Like, have you ever had a desire? You look at a commercial and the commercial ain't even about what you desire. And all of a sudden you just like, whoo, you was looking at a, a car, um, a car commercial or something like that. And say, for instance, you see certain numbers in there and a man holding a hot dog. I'm just saying some random shit. And all of a sudden you like, dang. Later on down, well, I'm saying later on down the line, maybe a couple of hours later, you'd like, dang, I want a hot dog. Dang, my car is messing up. So it's like you manifesting it. They're causing our mind to manifest it. You see a new car and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I desire that. It's like they put desires in our heads that are not our own. You need to sit with yourself to understand what it is that you truly desire. That's why they said sit in the seat of the soul. Once you do that, sit in the seat of the soul, you will understand your karma residue. Understand why you're here. The seat of the soul is sitting within yourself, sitting in stillness, sitting in the middle of all the chaos and being able to be balanced. To understand yourself, that's the only way that you're going to break these generational curses. For real. Like television, television. They're telling you a vision. They're telling you what they want your mind to think. And just think about it. Like I said, it's just a trick of the mind. Even I'm just used to the example of shoes because I use it a, a, a lot. Um, you want these latest sneakers and stuff like that. After you get those sneakers, they're going to come out with another design that looks similar to that. And you're going to keep wanting and wanting and wanting. That is what type of mindset they try to keep us in. Instead of wanting the desires that we really want, sitting with ourselves and understanding the desires that we really truly want. Versus what they're telling us, what life should be, what society should be, the things that we need to follow. And that's one reason about me. I don't care what nobody think about me because I know what I'm here for. I know what the purpose is. Can't nobody confuse me. And people wonder why I come off aggressive or brutally honest because I don't have time to play. I have a mission to complete. I don't know if you understand yourself, but I understand myself. And at time is of the essence. Time does not exist. But it is of the essence on this realm, this time as this. Because they created it like this. It's just crazy. It, it's real crazy. It's so much other things that I would like to tell y'all. But I know if I did speak up on, on that, they would shut my shit down. They would shut it down. And like I said... Let me show y'all this, a picture. I'm just freely talking. It's just showing y'all some stuff. Wait, is it back here? I just updated Orzac and the Euphoria. I haven't showed y'all Euphoria yet, I don't think. But I didn't even notice, like, this girl, she, oh, she, I'm sorry. She looked like she's ascending out of a portal. And if you look at the bottom, she has a mermaid bottle. I never knew that until the last minute. And it, it, it's, they said she was a siren, but I wasn't putting two and two together. I, I, I did, but I really just wasn't thinking about it. But this is literally a siren. She got that and that on her. She got the multiple different elements. And all up there, like I said, it, it, it's so crazy. I, some of these pictures I draw, I still don't understand it. It's almost like, to me, they make me use my gifts at art. It's almost like my sister said, it's almost like a Da Vinci Code. And like I said, Michelangelo, when I did the creation of Adam, those pictures that he drew was not for no reason, y'all. The creation of Adam. And it had a man touching God's fingers here. He was appointed. Chosen. We have pretty much the creation of Adam. We have certain elements in our DNA that needs to be awakened. Like, everybody has their position to play on this earth. And it's not all about, oh, I'm the, I got the most knowledge. I'm the smartest. I got this. I got that. Because none of that shit going to matter when you're in the ground. None of it. 
So why are we fighting a, um fighting for shit that don't matter? Y'all put make people feel less than because of what you have, but at the end of the day, what is that gonna do for you? When it's time for God to judge your soul, or oh, what you gonna tell her you had the flyest cars, the nicest shoes, so I should get into heaven? What? This is the very thing he don't want you to focus on. That's the trick of the mind. That's the trick of the devil. The devil comes with gifts and prizes. So that does not last long. Yeah, you got them shoes. You got worked up, work hard to save up to get them shoes in that car. But at the end of the day, that's not gonna last long because you're gonna desire something else. But the things with God, you it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fulfillment. It's not going to be a temporary high. And that's probably why they said high thorn. Or that I'm sorry, I had to get that water in. But um, that's why my segments be so long, y'all. Oh, yeah, I told y'all I was going to show y'all Euphoria. And she's the guardian of the portals. I got something that's going on that these two characters, that they're going to be involved in something that I'm creating. And she's a beauty, y'all. I wish I could see the color of it. Her name is Euphora. And she has a crystal heart or whatever. And it looks like an amethyst stone. Her heart is an amethyst stone. She's the guardian of the portal. And it's crazy because Orvac, when I did channeling on her, she's the guardian of the dream portal. The dream realm. That gives it, that's, what is it? Giving me water vibes, like kind of Pisces. And it's something else. Cancer. Virgo. Gemini, yeah. Those signs. And two, yeah, it's just crazy. I, like I told y'all, I even put it right here. They was already giving me the channel messages right here while I drew the spine part. Each part right there unlocks a certain chakra. And I'm going to do a little segment on that as well. And even about the four elements of four seasons when I was talking about the four corners of the earth. Um, Michael Angelo talked about a lot about this. And it's crazy because. I had a dream one day, and then God was showing me something that he wanted me to build, but I couldn't quite understand it. I know it's going to circulate back around. He's going to give me the other pieces or whatever to it, but it's something they wanted me to build, and I think it got something to do with the Etzion, um element, but that that's why I said it's important for us to do our research is we need more scientists. We need more doctors. We need more people that is going to, they're building their what's name right now. They already got a 20-year hair start, probably more than that, to build their what's name. And that's the reason why they're lying to us, talking about, yeah, expeditious in space and stuff like that. They're tricking us and getting our money. It's taking our money while we focus on bullshit that don't matter. They're building their country up. That's why you see a lot of people that are coming up and speaking like separating from this government. If we cut the neck off, the rest will fall. The head, the elites. If we stop doing stuff for them and we build our own government, just think about how it would make sense. Building crops and stuff like that. If we build our own vegetables and stuff like that, not only do we have a food supply, we have medicine. Make it make sense. Like, it, it's stupid. You cut the pharmacy off. You cut the, the food chains off. <laughs> like, you stop a lot of stuff just by doing those movements. Turn it in your, was it, it's either your birth certificate or your social security card. That is like your debit card. They, all the money, how can I say, you're a, uh, how can I say, you're an investment to them. You're putting in the work to build their, their world that they're trying to create. You're, we're focusing on things that we're not, how can I say, we need to start investing into our government system. That's why they said this is going to be the last tower, the last oppressive government, because we're going to build our own. And mark my words, I'm saying this now. I want y'all to, when y'all, this shit do happen, I want y'all to reflect on this video and see that Trina was speaking the truth. Or if you know me by Amazonian, Amazonian treasures. 
She was speaking the truth. This will be the last oppressive government. That's why they're going and hiding now. They they haven't been making a lot of noise, have they? But like I tell y'all, be better than you was yesterday. Take this information, research it. I encourage you to do your research. And even if um, from now on, when I am doing my researches, I'm going to start citing my sources so that y'all can go back and reflect and look at the same information that I did. I can't give you sources on my channelings. <laughs> that comes from source itself. So I can give y'all the information to go and research it yourself. But like I tell y'all, be better than you was yesterday. I always create a reality that you want for yourself. Do not base your reality or what you want on anybody else's desires. You were designed uniquely your on um, your way and yourself in order for you to create what you want, what you desire, what your soul yearns for. But like I tell y'all, be better than you was yesterday and keep on striving.